Hello and welcome to this week's Breakthrough Word. You are a joint heir with Christ. This is the last in the series of messages we've been doing on who you are in Christ. I've put a link right below this video to the other messages. And if you've not seen them, I encourage you to click on them, watch them. They're just about three minutes long, each one of them in length. And you can get caught up to where we are today as we finish out this series on who you are in Christ. And what we're doing is sharing with you what God's Word says about who we are now that we are saved, now that we're born again. When we receive Christ, we become a new creation and our identity changes. And we need to begin to see ourselves as God sees ourselves. Instead of seeing us in our past, our past mistakes, our past failures, or how others have labeled us, and begin to paint a new picture of our identity, painting it with the brush strokes of what God's Word says, that you are a new creation. Old things have passed away, and all things have become new. You are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. You're right with Him. You've been justified. You've been forgiven. There is no condemnation for those who are in Christ. No longer is there any guilt. You are complete in Him. All of these things are what God's Word says about us. You need to begin to see yourself and speak those things over your life. The last thing I want to share is that as a follower of Christ, you now are a joint heir with Christ. In Christ, you're a joint heir. What's that mean? Well, as a believer, we become a child of God. He becomes our Father. We are sons and daughters. But in Romans 8, 17, it says not only we are just sons and daughters, but we are joint heirs with Christ. What's that mean? It means everything that Jesus is, we are. Everything that Jesus has, we have. He is accepted and loved by the Father. Just like Jesus is accepted and loved by the Father, so are we. As a joint heir, you're accepted. You're loved by the Father because of who you put your trust in, Jesus. As a follower of Christ, you're a joint heir and you have everything that Jesus has. All the promises, all the blessings that God gives Jesus, we now have. Ephesians 1.3 says, He has blessed us with every spiritual blessing. As a joint heir, you now have possession of all the promises, all the blessings that God has given Jesus. We are in that same position. You're in that same position. As a follower of Christ, as a new creation, as a believer, you're a joint heir. And so I want to encourage you to begin to walk in, appropriate the blessings, the promises that belong to you as a child of God. It doesn't do any good to become an heir and just leave those things deposited in the bank or left wherever they are and you never use them. Often that's what happens for believers. Believers have been blessed with every spiritual blessing. They are joint heirs. Their position is with Christ. And they have all these promises, all these blessings, all the things that are theirs as a heir in the kingdom of God, but they don't realize it. They don't put a demand on it. They don't receive it. And you receive it by faith. And so I want you to know as a new creation in Christ, you're a joint heir. You have all the blessings, all the promises that Jesus has. We in the same position. He's seated at the right hand of the Father. The Bible says we've been raised up and seated with Him. Positionally, we are in the same place as He is. He's sitting with the Father in heaven. We're on assignment as ambassadors here on earth to represent the kingdom of God in this season, this time. We are joint heirs, and so we need to walk in that. We need to begin to see ourselves as God sees ourselves. Quit beating ourselves up. Quit believing the, belie the lies of the, of the enemy and begin to believe what God says about us. You are a winner. You are a champion. You are victorious. You are forgiven. You are loved. You are accepted. You are a child of God, and you are a joint heir in Christ Jesus. That's your breakthrough word for this week. Until next time, remember, in Christ, you are a joint heir with Him. Peace out.